So remember when we started sampling, uh, our goal was getting a representative sample. Uh, well, the opposite of representative uh, is bias. So results in the sample that are not representative uh, of the population are ones in which uh, certain outcomes are favored over others. So instead of the sample having the same characteristics as the population, it has different characteristics. And, and there's different reasons why outcomes could be favored. There's different types of bias. Uh, so bias will happen in sampling, uh, or when bias does happen in sampling, it, it's going to produce values that are not representative of the population. And then if we have unbiased sampling, uh, that just means the method is not biased. Now, one type of sam sampling that usually results in, in, in um, biased results is something called convenient sampling. And this is sampling where you use uh, individuals or objects that are readily available. So it almost always results in some bias. For example, uh, a teacher samples the first 10 students to arrive uh, at class and asks, well, um, you know, what, what, is your, what is your opinion on this? Okay, well, that's not a random sample. You know, the first 10 students, it might be the same 10 students every day, and they may have different characteristics than the rest of the class. So I'm asking, what kind of sampling method is this, and are the results likely to be biased? Uh, so this is a convenient sample. Uh, because it's easy to pick the first 10 students that arrived to class, uh, teacher doesn't have to wait until everyone's there, doesn't have to wait for the late students, you know, can get, doesn't hold up the rest of the class and what they're doing. It's a convenient sample. Uh, are the results likely to be biased? Um, generally, uh, yes, they, they probably are. And for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. And let's talk a little bit here about variation in the data. Uh, when you choose a sample, there's some inherent variation in that sample. Uh, even if you have two samples of the same so size using the same sampling method, it's highly unlikely that they're going to be the same sample, although they may both be <clears throat> representative. And we saw this before when we did random sampling. We did two samples. They were the same size, 5 out of 50. We got two completely different samples, but they were both random samples, and they both probably would be representative. And this is just the nature of sampling. So just recognize that there's inherent variation in samples. Samples will vary from one to the next. And that's why we can't make a 100% um, confident conclusion in statistics is because there's always some variation, there's always some uncertainty uh, because of variation in sampling.